So the Jacksonville Jaguars and every NFL team has to announce their final 53-man roster cut by Tuesday afternoon at 4 p.m. And the Jaguars have began to make roster cuts today. I get off work and I see that the Jaguars have cut safety. Rudy Ford, he was going to be a great special teams player and a guy who's going to really contribute in these diamond nickel packages on defense. But the Jaguars saved $2 million in cap space. But the big one for me is the Jaguars have cut wide receiver Laquan Treadwell. Now Laquan Treadwell, if you look at it on paper, last season in 2021, 33 receptions, 431 yards, and only one touchdown coming in that week 18 win versus the Indianapolis Colts. To me, I'm just gonna be honest right off rip. I do not like this move at all by the Jaguars. When you look at it on paper, Laquan Treadwell did not have the best of seasons in 2021. But if you actually watch the Jaguars, which I feel sorry if you did watch the Jaguars and you're not a Jags fan, Laquan Treadwell consistently jumped out onto the screen and was making plays for Trevor Lawrence. And I'll even speak for myself. When I went to training camp in 2021 and Urban Meyer was running the show and the headliner was obviously number one overall pick Trevor Lawrence, you saw consistently all throughout training camp and all throughout OTAs, Laquan Treadwell and Trevor Lawrence had chemistry and continuity together. It was very evident throughout the preseason last year. It was evident throughout the regular season this past season. And even through preseason and training camp, yet again, Laquan Treadwell was a veteran in that wide receiver room who was consistently making plays. He's not a number one or a number two, but he's a great depth player that you would love to have in the wide receiver room where the Jaguars still have a lot of unproven talent there with guys like Christian Kirk, who has had a lot of success in the past too, but he's never eclipsed a thousand yards. Zay Jones has looked phenomenal throughout training camp and throughout the preseason, but a lot of the Jaguars foundational pieces in the wide receiver room are still unproven. And Laquan Treadwell was one of the few veterans in there alongside Marvin Jones Jr. I don't know if Laquan Treadwell makes the practice squad for the Jaguars. I don't know all the logistics of that after he's been cut by the Jaguars but I would assume that he's gonna get picked up somewhere and he's gonna be a very nice rotational and solid piece to any team. And I think Laquan Treadwell is a great guy. If he's in Jacksonville, I wanna say, man, I wanna keep you here and I wanna keep you here for a very long time as long as you continue to work hard and be this great leader that you've been, I think, in that wide receiver room. But if he goes somewhere else, Laquan, I wish you nothing but the best, man. I just wanna say thank you so much for everything you've done. You've been a very undervalued and underrated player for the Jaguars this last year and a half or so. And quickly, let me address the elephant in the room because the big decision with this is obviously the emergence of Tim Jones and him possibly making this 53 man roster, which I'm almost guaranteeing Tim Jones makes this roster now as he rightfully should but it comes with the elephant in the room with LaVisca Chanel. Now me personally, I've gotten off the LaVisca Chanel bandwagon well in the last year and week 18 last year versus the Colts was my final straw with him. LaVisca Chanel after an impressive rookie season where he had 691 yards, five touchdowns on 76 total touches as a rookie did not follow that up in 2021 and had a horrible season to put it plain and simple up to his standards into what he should have been. LaVisca had 660 yards, zero touchdowns on 74 touches in 2021. So he had two less touches in 2021, but his yards dropped and he scored zero touchdowns as well too. You can obviously attribute some of that to coaching, a little bit of injuries as well too, a rookie quarterback, new system. You can make up all the excuses in the world and rightfully so. But LaVisca Chenault, when you watch the Jaguars last year, clearly showed an ineptitude to consistently get better, improve maybe throughout the week. I don't know what was going on, but he looked absolutely lost out there. He wasn't catching the ball effectively, and he just looked like a slow receiver out there. And we've known this since his time coming out of Colorado. He ran like a 4.58 at the 40 yard dash. Now a 40 is not always an equivalent to NFL game speed, but for a wide receiver, that is not up to par. And LaVisca Chanel, while he is dynamic and while he has so much untapped potential, I trust Doug Peterson to make the right decision. It comes down to that. The Jaguars clearly still see something in LaVisca Chanel, and if he's gonna be on my roster, I'm gonna root for anybody on my roster, and that's what it comes down to at the end of the day. I'm not the biggest LaVisca Chenault fan, but I'm gonna support the kid, and I hope that he balls out because this is a big decision Doug Peterson and the rest of this coaching staff just made by letting go of Laquan Treadwell, and they are investing in LaVisca Chenault for the future of this team moving forward into year three to have a breakout season. LaVisca, I'm holding you to this, man. Please break out and please be this great receiver that everyone knows and thinks that you can be. You have so much untapped potential, your skill set, your versatility. You're not the fastest guy, but you're one of the strongest and biggest guys in that wide receiver room, and you've got a dynamic skill set. Please, I'm begging you for all Jaguar fans, 
go and ball out. You have the ability, please go and do it, bro. But Jaguar fans, I just had to quickly talk about Laquan Treadwell and obviously the elephant in the room with LaVisca Chenault. Let me know what was your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. And when the Jaguars do release their 53-man roster tomorrow evening, I will be making a video for that. So make sure y'all stay tuned for that. But thank you all again for sticking around throughout the whole video. If you guys could drop me a like, it takes one second and it helps me in the channel out tremendously. And if you guys are new here, consider hitting that subscribe bell to stay tuned for more NBA, Jaguars, and now UCF content that I do here on YouTube. And make sure y'all go follow me on my socials, especially on Twitter. The link tree will be in the description down below so y'all can go check that out as well too. But Brett James, AKA BJ, I'm out y'all. Go Jaguars, baby. Peace.